Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Yes, I'm still alive and I'm right now designing a lot of stuff with my 3D printer. Um, and this is one of the things I've just recently designed. It's uh, not a very practical thing, but just interesting proof of concept. So this wheel here can, as you can hopefully see, continuously change its uh, radius. It's an octagon and uh, it, the mechanism is a bit stiff sometimes but in theory like if i if i'm carefully i can smoothly adjust its radius as you can see you can do it really quick as well and um yeah so um first of all the question goes to you how does this actually work uh so i give you a hint these uh, pins here uh, are not just there for decoration they have a purpose and uh, this marble design here, by the way, is just uh, because I had black plastic on the printer while I was printing the white part and uh, so there's just uh, some stains of the black plastic left, but it looks like marble, which is kind of nice, I think. Um, yeah, so uh, in case you didn't note, uh, know before, I have a 3D printer and I'm um, using it at the moment for a pretty cool project, so I'm trying to build another electric bicycle. Uh, but that will be talked about in another video. I can just give you one or two screenshots uh, this time and in the meantime uh, you can guess how this works and at the end I will uh, give uh, a pre-recorded one small clip where I show the mechanism so uh, you can see how it works and then also will put on uh, put all these files on Thingiverse in case you need it for something. I uh, for example imagine that you I don't know maybe you can uh, adjust uh, the uh, luminance of, of a lamp or something by just inc increasing or decreasing this radius here or I don't know if you blow up a balloon it turns a wheel I don't really know what this could be useful for but it's interesting it's a bit different than the usual uh, like camera lens uh, uh, mechanism because that one has pieces that overlap each other like uh, the one where you can um, uh, determine how much light there is on your picture while this one is purely two-dimensional so there's nothing that overlaps each other and in theory it, this would work in a two-dimensional two uh, plane as well. So here you can see the 3D view of my uh, iris diaphragm and uh, I made it in SketchUp. Um, so by now I'm quite used to this so I uh, know how to operate SketchUp but uh, uh, the longer you work with it the more you figure out this is not really the best CAD tool for designing stuff like 3D printed objects. So one uh, thing for example is that everything has to be scaled up by a factor of about 100 at the moment because uh, you can see the length is supposed to be about 300 like 30 centimeters which is not the case um, I think this one is scaled not up by not that much but anyways uh, it's because the SketchUp uh, has some weird rounding problems when I do uh, volume body functions uh, when with small scale objects so I have to enlarge them before I can do these operations so I usually design them uh, large, uh, already scaled up. Um, I hide this top part here, you can see. These are these cake pieces and each of them, like I don't know why some of them are missing, but I move them along the axis. Uh, no, I don't want to move only one piece, I want to move the whole one. The whole part comes together. I can move them around freely here, yeah, but you can see if I move it along the red axis like this. I think my PC can't handle properly if I'm recording at the same time. Uh, but you can see it, and let's go out again. Out of this view. So, um, yeah, so the rest was uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you want to print it yourself, you can. Of course, uh, go ahead and download the files. I know it's not very really useful, but um, maybe you can uh, adjust this a bit and um, make something really useful out of it. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna upload some more videos about 3D printed parts soon. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.